Okay, this is just a quick video that shows you guys how I make my thumbnails for my videos. I have a Mac, and the program I use is just Pages. So I will open it, and I'll show you guys how I make a thumbnail from scratch. All right. So I go to New, and then choose Blank Landscape. And first thing first, you have to know the dimension for the video is 16 by 9. Likewise for its thumbnail. And what I need first is I will go to Shape, choose a rectangle. And I will have to make sure it has the dimension I need. As you can see right here, this is place that we can you know select our dimension. But if you enter 16 inches by 9 inches right here, it's going to be too big. So I will have to reduce them by 2. In another word, I will have to have 8 right here. And 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So you can see this is the place. And I will have to enter everything I need in this region. And of course, you can keep the blue background, but if you don't like blue, you can go here, right? Style and then fill. You can choose any color that you want. But let me just go with no color right here. But in that case, be sure you choose a border so that you know where to cut later on. Take the screenshot I mean. But anyway, make sure the borderline is smaller like this. All right now, as you guys have seen my videos, I have like a box in the middle somewhere, right? The rest of the video is just, you know, how I, um, you know, do my artistic work, I would say, for my thumbnails. Let's choose yellow, just any color that you want. And go to arrange. Uh, the tip is that you should change this to none right here, text wrap. So that you will have the freedom to move this to anywhere that you want without interfering with any other things that you have. So you can just drag it, do whatever you want, right? And usually I like to rotate it with an angle, let's say two degrees like this. Okay. Now we will have to write the stuff in the thumbnail. I use math type, so go to insert and math type equation. Right here, you can just do however you want. So for example, maybe I want to have an integral right here. So I will just do integral ln of x times ln of 1 minus x. And of course, I need the x. But as you can see right here, this doesn't look nice because I should have a space in between of the parentheses and the dx, right? So just click on this and then go to format. Actually, no. Go to style, text. And you can give it a space like that. And you know, this right here, you cannot integrate it, but if you enter 0 to 1, you have a much better answer, right? I will do this right here for you guys later on, not this video, okay? Anyway, select this, go to Arrange. For the Text Wrap option, be sure you select to None, so you can move this to wherever you, to wherever you want. So you can do like that. And sometimes, this might be behind the square or the rectangle that you selected. In that case, you can just right click or just hit control click and you can just select bring to front, right? So you can have this all the way in the front. So now seriously, it's just a matter of how you would like to design your thumbnail. And I do spend a lot of time to do my thumbnails because I think it's really fun and um, you know it makes me happy. And yeah, but anyway, here is a title. I will go to text. And right here, I can just type in whatever I want, right? So let me just type in the title for this video. How I make my thumbnails, I guess, right? And of course, right here, you can just choose the font that you like, whatever you want to do, right? So let me just choose a random one like this and make it bigger. Something like this. And then center it, maybe. And um, arrange, none, like that. So I can move this right here to here and maybe this is not big enough so uh, increase the font size like that so just seriously depends on how you want to design your thumbnail and it can take a lot of time to like just spend the time to do it i find it really relaxing right and you can choose different color uh, like bluish color like this right how i make my thumbnails Okay, and another thing I do is I usually have a little logo on the bottom left corner. So let me just show you how I do that. So go to text again, and I usually just enter my channel name, which is, of course, black pen, red pen. 
red pen has to be in red. So change the color right here to be red. And make the font bigger like this. And I will suggest you put your name anywhere besides the bottom right corner because this is the place that the time mark of the video, you know, sometimes it says the video is like five minutes long. That's where the place is going to show. If you put your name right here, the time mark is going to block your name. So don't put anything important right here on the bottom right corner, all right? And usually I just put it on the bottom left corner like this. And you can rearrange this a little bit. All right, how I make my thumbnails. And this is just integral to attract people to watch my video, maybe. And sometimes you can also choose the, the um, shadow, which is really cool. So let me show you as well. So in case if you get bored of just a rectangle, you can just click on this and go to style. And right here, you can have different shadow. And right here, we have drop shadow already. And you can, of course, have different style you want. This is how blurred it is going to be. You see it's blurred right around the sides. Offset means like how far away the shadow is from the square. And you can also make it if it's clear or not like that. And of course, you can have different colors. And I personally think that the black uh, shadow looks really nice. And the angle is where the shadow is. So you can just like this, like this. Aha. So let me do it like this. And maybe final touch is just to rearrange it again. You can center it or yeah, just do however you would like. Anyway, in the end, uh, I'm just going to take a screenshot right here. And this is going to be the thumbnail, right? And maybe I'm going to make this bigger. So zoom out, a, zoom in a little bit. And to take a screenshot, you hit Control, Command, and the number four. And then place the arrow right here on the top left corner. And then just drag it. And try it, of course, follow the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be good. And then just go right here and let go. And that's the sound. And you know you have a thumbnail. And of course, we should save this. I just save this. Thumbnail. And we can, of course, close that. And here is the thumbnail that we just made. All right? Finally, when you are uploading your videos, Go right here, custom the thumbnail, just click on that. And then of course you can select the screenshot that we had right here. And this right here, it's going to be the thumbnail for this video, all right? And hopefully you guys like this video. And Lucas, this video is for you. Hopefully you like it as well. And as always, that's it.